today we did get our first super packs of 2k25 and the season one super packs the odds are not looking the best but we do need to go over the new snipe filters man budget filters are going to be going crazy so let's get right into the filters the first filter we're going to go over today is the pink diamond filter man today is probably going to be one of your best chances to snipe a pink diamond all season super packs did drop today when i'm recording this late that night the video will not drop until the following day after super packs came out just because of my internet situation i don't have any internet so i gotta gotta record when i can for this filter you want to set your color to pink diamond you want to put your minimum buyout to 500 and just keep refreshing every single pink diamond in the game is still a snipe right now so if anything pops up buy it as quick as possible man i do know that a Giannis Antetokounmpo pink diamond did pop up today on xbox man i couldn't be online because i had no internet so that is very tough hopefully one of you guys got it man but let's get into the next filter the next filter we're going to go over is the diamond cheapest filter man for this filter you want to set your color to diamond you want to raise your maximum buyout up until you find the cheapest diamond on your console which on xbox is going for about 44,000 mt right now as i'm recording this just find the price man you want to snipe the cards for about 8,000 mt cheaper than the cheapest one so 44,000 i'm looking to pick up any card that pops up for about 36,000 and below and obviously you want to scroll on this filter if any more expensive diamonds pop up man buy them as quick as possible like uh i mean there's tons of options demand a bonus is more more expensive you got any of the cards that sell for over 100k like will Jalen green uh ak-47 man there's tons of options so just check the pricing of your diamonds before working this filter so you know which ones to pick up if they pop up for 44,000 exactly and which ones you need to grab for only 36,000 mt and below filters going pretty solid today man 3.6 percent odds to pull diamonds means they're coming out at a frequent rate that's why the pricing on diamonds has dropped so much the next filter we're going to go over is the amethyst cheapest filter man same principle what you want to do is set your color to amethyst raise your maximum buyout up until you find the cheapest amethyst on your console which as you see here 4950 amethysts did drop to which is actually crazy man they're going for 5k they were steady all season going for 10k plus 9k you know on pack days and such but you want to go ahead and refresh here i do recommend you scroll again there's a lot of more expensive amethyst that can pop up you want to just scroll with one up obviously so like 4850 refresh here man if you see any of the more expensive amethyst like the amethyst gems of the game uh we're going to go over a few of the other more expensive in this filter video paul gasol dominique wilkins uh kevin durant any of the expensive amethysts buy them as quick as possible if they pop up for any price otherwise you want to grab these for about i mean you can do 4k and below however with the you know riskiness you might want to go for like 3800 just because the pending system and all that man so i would say grab 3800 and below for sure profit and then resell for about 4950 they're all pretty much selling at this point next we're going to go over some of the high tier filters man that you guys want to be on if you're looking for high-end snipes this is an option without needing to enable anybody and they're both still snipes man put your position to small forward put your color to diamond and put your team to the timberwolves man you got Jalen green and ak-47 i'm Jalen green andrew wiggins and ak-47 on this filter ak is still over 200k and andrew wiggins is going for about 150 man it's late guys don't die <laughs> is late man it's been a long day having no internet here you can you don't need a bid or anything just put your minimum about to 500 keep refreshing if you get a pop-up buy it man for any price you will absolutely make profit post it up for a hundred thousand bid and go ahead and stack some mt the next filter where that is still working man is just the central division filter with a high bid this filter is insane it's on a one scroll man for this filter you want to set your division to central you want to raise your minimum bid up if you're on playstation i don't know you want to raise it up till you're on a working scroll maybe 100k if you're on xbox right now you can put your minimum bid to 91,050, and then put your minimum buyout to 500 and just keep refreshing it's a one scroll and the cards at the 24 hour mark which is absolutely perfect so that means you don't really need to push over most of the time man if a snipe pops up it's going to be the first card there man on this filter is absolutely insane the amount of pink diamonds you can get on here as well as a couple diamonds that are still snipes man you got victor oladipo on here you got Giannis, pink diamond paul george it's literally crazy grant hill 
I don't know about this one. I'd probably pass on Grant Hill. You got Artist Gilmore. I mean, there's the number of Pink Diamonds is crazy. Obviously, don't snipe Drummond. He's not a snipe. You're really looking for Oladipo and Pink Diamonds on this filter. It's a great option, man. Grant Hill, if you want to monitor his price, see what he ends for. You got one ending in, you know, about 30 minutes. So check that out. Uh, the, I mean, the just it's just crazy, bro. The amount of pink diamonds. There's like eight pink diamonds on this filter, I believe, that you are able to snipe. So if you want a filter where you can get a lot of pink diamonds and still snipe a diamond, which will probably pop up more frequently for you than the pink diamonds, obviously, uh, this is a great option for you. Grab Oladipo if he pops up for any price. Grab any pink diamond if they pop up for any price and make a ton of MT on this filter. Another filter that's really good on super pack days, man, is the 500 filter for this. You leave no color, no theme, no nothing. Just go down to your maximum buyout, put it to 500, man, and just keep refreshing and snipe anything that pops up. Because the cheapest cards probably are 600. I didn't even look right now, but they're probably pretty cheap on a super pack day. Yeah, 600, oh, 550 is actually crazy. Uh, 550 those ones will sell you literally can sell them for 600 like there's no question no matter what you snipe you can sell it for at least 600 uh, snipe anything that pops up for 500 if you want to just go for higher end you're really looking for the rubies the the amethyst the diamonds all the crazy stuff the gems of the games cards that pop up on the 500 filter you're looking for those but I suggest just so it's you just buy anything that pops up, man. And if for some reason you can't sell it for 600, you can sell it for 550 and break even, man. W filter on super packs days. Definitely give this a try. Or let me correct that. Super pack weeks since this video is coming out a day after the packs drop. Sorry again, I couldn't drop content uh, this night filter video for you guys today. The next filter we're going over is one that I don't mention often. I don't really think it's worth working, except for the fact that we have super packs, so it's probably pretty decent right now, and it's got a high potential. It's gonna be dryish, it's gonna be low key, but it'll have a potential to make a lot of MT, man. It's the Amethyst Gems of the Game filter. You wanna set your color to Amethyst, you wanna put your theme to Gems of the Game. You're gonna raise your maximum buyout up until you're on a one scroll with the cheapest Amethyst Gems of the Game, which on Xbox, it's going for 40,000 MT, man i strongly suggest you snipe these cards for half price man they're going to be a little bit hard to sell but if you can get one for 20 21 22 ish max man you're gonna be able to sell it for profit what i would personally do is throw it up for like 33k and let somebody else buy it thinking it's a snipe and you just stack your mt because you got it for so cheap man and you don't have to wait for the card to sell as you see this card's up it's the cheapest one it's been up for two hours and 10 minutes at least and it's at 40k nobody's body yet they're hard to sell but if you post them cheap enough man they do sell and you can snipe them pretty cheap considering amethyst is Amethysts are the cheapest, are at 5,000 MT. Sorry, I can't speak right now, guys. W Low Filter, man, let me know in the comments how this goes for you guys. I sadly don't have internet to be trying a lot of these filters out like I normally do, but in theory, I'm usually pretty good at picking filters, and I think this one will be decent this one. The last filter we're going to go over is literally probably some of my favorite. It's not even one filter. I just throw them all here at the end, man. I have a strong, strong feeling that all the more expensive Amethyst hard scope filters are going to be going absolutely crazy this week people that are ripping super packs usually aren't wanting to check you know check price the ones that are ripping a lot of them the spenders man they're just going to see the they're just going to throw these things up in bulk man anytime they pull a paul gasol a dominique wilkins an albert king lou dort man i think there's probably a couple others that are more expensive um but like these ones just this is what you do for these filters. They're hard scope filters. You can only snipe one card on them, but I guarantee you there people are making a ton, a ton of empty on these filters right now. We'll go over Paul Gasol for an example. I'll show you both two of them, and there's literally like four or five of these or six. Put your name to whoever it is, man. Dominique Wilkins, Albert King, Paul Gasol, Lugans Dort, man. Just set your name to them. Put your color to Amethyst. They're all Amethyst cards. And they're all going for like 16k plus, man. 15k plus Paul, I think, is going for 18. So you want to go ahead and find the cheapest one, which is going for about 18 and a half thousand right now. I would drop on all of these guys on all of these because they're all in the same price range. I would snipe them for at least 5,000 MT cheaper than the cheapest one. That's what I would set my buyout to. So whatever price they're going for, find it. No matter your console, man, they're all none of them are going for over 30k. So as long as you snipe them for 5,000 MT cheaper than the cheapest one, you're making profit on it, man. So go ahead and put your max buyout 5,000 down and just keep refreshing and snipe anything that pops up, man. These cards come up for like 5k 
10k a lot and then you're stacking tons and tons of mt man hopefully you enjoyed the video again apologize it's a day late pretty much man smash the like button for me if you did enjoy it if you guys want to see where we spent two hours sniping diamonds man click the video that's popping up on screen jay grinds out